Hi, and welcome to Dr. Mix. On this episode, I'm here with Aaron. How are you doing, Aaron? I'm good. How are you? Good, not bad. And we're going to talk about studio monitors. We have a whole bunch of speakers. The speakers that we have here at Dr. Mix. What have we got here? Uh, we've got a bunch of different monitors, as you can see here. And we're going to talk about the different characteristics and why we've decided on the PSIs as our mains. And that is coming up. <laughs> So how are you guys doing? I'm very excited today. We just recently hit 100,000 subscribers. Hell yeah, we did. Yeah, that's amazing. And we're going to get the silver button quite soon. So we're super happy. Uh, speaking of which, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button so that you can help us make this channel bigger and better. So Aaron, shall we show them what monitors we have back there? Yeah, let's do it. First up, we have the Atom A7X, which we're very, very familiar with. The next is the classic Yamaha NS10Ms, which I know Claudio is very used to using. I am. Uh, the EVE SC305s, which are fantastic three-way monitors. The KRK Rocket 6, another classic. And finally, our new mains, the PSI Audio A17M. So let me explain a little bit my perception of each one of these mm -hmm. monitors. The Atom A7X. Yeah, I think they're yeah. great for production. Great for production. I've been mixing on them. We've been mixing on it. Yeah, I'm very, very familiar with them. Yeah. I've done it for a long time with them. I would describe them as having a pretty forward sound. Uh, it's um, possibly a tiny bit compressed, yeah. I would say. But they're, they're very, very punchy and they're very exciting, which I think is... It inspires you if you're producing on them because you're like, I'm excited about this. And then you get more and more ideas. And rather than being like, oh, I'm not sure this is quite right. Absolutely. They help you out a lot there. The Rocket are, in my opinion, pretty much in the same category as the A7Xs. But they are a lot um, less defined, I would say. They're a little bit more... I'd say the, the mid-range on the Atoms is a bit more forward. Not quite as forward as the NS10s, which are because they, they don't have the same low-end extension as the Atoms, they feel more mid-forward, but uh, the Rockets are a little bit more lows. They've got, they feel like they've more in the low end. Yeah, I really enjoy the Rockets for production, in fact. I mean, I have mixed on them. <laughs> <laughs> I have, and you know, I, you know, pretty good. I didn't master with them, of course, no. but, but I did get some, some pretty good joy. Another thing is that they, they don't cost too much. So, you know... Even if you blast them a little bit, you don't care. <laughs> yeah. There's some difference between the different revisions of the, the Rockets as well. They've done a bunch of different models. Mm -hmm. Some are better than others, so it's worth checking them all out. Yeah. I remember the KRK when they looked like a little bit of a pyramid. And yeah, kind of like, like cone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it was, uh, they were super cool. So let me talk about the Yamaha NS10s. I've got the M studio model which had a reinforced tweeter so that it wouldn't blow up as much they are so seminal they are so mm. important it's the classic white cone in the black box isn't it uh, yes yes it is um i would characterize the yamaha as being fast fast because uh, the the cone is is made of uh, cardboard mm. i guess it's just cardboard, right? And but, but it's very hard, so the transients are projected in a very fast way, which means an incredibly good definition in the mids. Yeah, and because you don't have that low end to deal with, the speaker's not moving as much, so it can deal with uh, the mid range a lot faster. It's not having to like, because the low end moves the speaker more, so you're having more yeah. push and pull. If you're not having that, it's able to do it much, much faster. That's right. Basically, below... 100, yeah. if that, if that. Y you can pretty much hear nothing. You can feel it, mm. but you cannot hear it. And that kind of also, also defined the type of, the type of mix that, that was in vogue 20 years ago. Yeah. Right? I mean, if you go to any high-end studio, you will find a pair of these more yeah. than likely. Yeah. They're still in wide use. So that's that. And these are the EVE's SC305, one of my all-time favorites. This I had for quite a quite a bit of time and uh, they're still a big reference for me. Um, do you want to say something about it? Yeah, one of the uh, woofers uh, delivers only up to 350 hertz. So that will cover your low end. The other one covers from 350 up to 3K. 
And then finally, that ribbon tweeter right in the center covers everything from 3K up. You might recognize a similarity between this ribbon tweeter and this ribbon tweeter from the Atom A7X. It's because it's the same designer who did both of them. Now, the PSIs. Why are we so enthusiastic about the PSIs, Aaron? Because they're fantastic. I, the imaging on them is incredible. The top to bottom frequency extension, it feels much larger. It feels much more 3D. It's, it's very hard to quantify unless you've got them up against something else. And then it just is like, whoa. Yep. They feel like, it's like watching it on a, like a huge screen TV and you're sat right in front of it. And you're like, That's wow. Right. Plus they're made in Switzerland. Look how cool they are. I mean, like the details. They're all handmade. And not only that, they're all tested in their own anechoic chamber. Yeah. And they come with a graph and uh, you can match monitor number one and monitor number 3000 and they will sound exactly the same. The tolerance is like... Yeah. So that's it. My question for you is now, what speakers are you using and what are your dream speakers? Please comment here below and let us know. All right, it's always good to talk with you. Yeah, that's great. We need to do more videos. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. So, everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Give us some thumbs up. Spread the Dr. Mix gospel and be inspired. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Dr. Mix.